Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing a bunch of Mario stuff, plus some random figures. But first, we're going to look at the one new thing we threw in this review. It's Marvel Mech Suit Captain America. Before we do that, we're going to look at the packaging. So I'm going to adjust my tripod. Move it over here. Here's a nice product shot of Mech Suit Captain America with Captain America minifigure piloted in this suit of Mech awesomeness. They figure Captain America doesn't look half bad. The artwork on this box is really good. That's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at Cap himself. This is not a bad looking suit. Posability is really good. Bend at the knee due to the Mixel ball joints. I love these bending ball joints for this figure. And the arms are really well articulated. The fingers can get some movement. It could be like, Hey Thor, hey Iron Man. Me, Captain America. Shouting hi. And this shield is really cool. Hands are really articulated. A lot of posability for this figure. And the shield does come off, so you can put it anywhere on the suit, even on the back for storage. So show you that. Just like on the package, and I'm going to show you that. I can get it to connect for me. But you can store his shield on his back, which is real nice. But I'm probably going to display him holding his shielded hand. Ready to bash some bad guys. I'm going to have to put it back on his hand because I'm having a little bit of trickiness. With, with his hand. Connecting it to it. But yeah, I'll display him with his shield in his hand and ready to bash Thanos with that shield. And be like, smack in the face. Smack, smack. But now for comparison with some other Wave 2 Marvel mech suits. We got... Thor from Wave 2. Finally, we have him as well. Mech suit Miles Morales. And that's all there is to say for the Wave 2 figures. Are these Lego Marvel mech suits worth adding to your collection if you're a Marvel fan? Like me. Yes, they are worth the money. If you can get them for, for less than I paid for them, I paid 20 bucks for both of these. I paid 10. If you can find these right away when they first came out, they're probably less expensive. But I only got these three from Amazon for a bit more because I didn't get them when they first came out. But I'm glad I finally got them for the collection now. And now I'm on to Wave 3 and the mech suit, Spider-Man and Doc Ock pack, and then my collection is complete. Even Black Panther will be mine from Wave 3. And these were fun to review and check out. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the toys we have in this figure haul. Give me a second to put these up. On the shelf. Okay. Next ticket item on the huge figure list, we got this mask from Into the Spider-Verse. It's Miles Morales' mask, and I like this. I picked this up from the Goodwill outlet because it was pretty cool. And I like this whole Spider-Man design. But now we're going to look at the minifigures, and then Bowser's Castle. First on the figure list, we got this ghost character. From Mario? Boo! That couldn't be helped. I really do a good ghost impression. 
We got this guy I don't know anything about, but he's always with Princess Peach. Why not? I say, why not? We got Mario. We got several Marios here. We got this posable Mario. No knee bends. You'd be like, take this Bowser. Pew, pew, bang, bang. With my fist. Powered up Mario. Like, fireball, fireball. To Bowser, you know what I mean? We got this enemy dude. I don't know his name, but he's pretty creepy. Look at that face. That is so creepy. And then the bullet guy would be like, I'm going to blow you away. Yeah, I can't help the impressions. I'm an impression guy. Luigi slide me like, I'm going for a slide. Wee! Couldn't help that impression. We got this Mario, like he's running. Sprint running. We got this Moe, this Mario. Being like, one punch. Yeah, I couldn't help that. That was from an anime called One Punch. This mushroom, we can power up on the mushroom. And it's made of metal. We got this guy. Don't know anything about this Mario character. But I think he's one of the bad guys. And Mario could be like, jump on him. Jump on the turtle. Yeah, couldn't help that impression. We got this Mario. I think he's missing a part, but... He swings right at you something. That's cool. We got this Princess Peach on a stand. She doesn't have any posability, but if you move her around, she moves around. Ain't that adorable? And finally, we got Luigi. Looks like he would have thrown something, too. We got a Princess Daisy Mario Kart car. And she's ready to roll out. Huh. But now let's look at Bowser's Castle. It's time for the main reason I got this lot in the first place. The Bowser's Castle. It's really well sculpted and really well painted. I love that. I think it used to have a door right here, but I got this used, missing the door and missing one of the tower tops of Bowser's Castle. And it makes noise. What's better than that? Yeah, it makes noise, and now we can show off the figures in the castle. So let's put in some enemies here and there. This guy's coming jetting at Mario on this level. And a ghost on this level. And we got Luigi running from the ghost and being like, ah! Couldn't help that imitation. And, and a few other enemies are trying to get him. Turtle, but... Doesn't expect... Ooh! The trap door. And Luigi... The enemies go falling on the trap door. Which is a nice gimmick for this playset. I like this playset a lot. Probably wondering, where did I get this whole lot of Mario stuff? Well, as you know, I got this from the Goodwill Outlet. If you saw my Goodwill Outlet toy haul, you know where I got this from. And it was the most epic piece of Mario stuff I could ever get for my first ever 
Mario collection. And I'd highly recommend you pick this up. This is a fun set, and it's worth the money if you can get it for a good price. But I got this for by the pound, and I'm so happy I did. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.